often ask me why communicate? People also ask me why learn public speaking? A lot of people come to me and say that maybe they're so afraid of public speaking that they'd rather just be quiet and let the message be conveyed. But I'm sorry to say that you're really, really wrong. And in this context, I'd like to share when does sound become music? When does movement become dance? When does the mind become meditated? When does a smile turn into laughter? And when does life become a celebration? Unless you share your thoughts with other people, unless you share your feelings with other people, and unless you share what you have done or maybe what you wish to do with other people, my dear friends, you cannot ever be happy or content. Communication is that one tool which enables you to share an idea, maybe share a thought, maybe something which otherwise will be buried within you and will be there with the rest of your lives and it will lead to a lot of frustration, desperation and half of the people come to me and say I wish I would have said this, I wish I should have done this, I wish I have an idea and I wish I should have shared it with the team. So every single day there are a thousand wishes but unless they are really communicated then there is absolutely no point having just a wish. How do you do that? Now the first step is just to ensure, learn one message that you want to convey to a person. I'd rather just convey one message three times to somebody rather than three messages once to a group of people. The trick in great public speaking lies in the fact that you have strong messages to be delivered to audiences. People with one strong message which you can deliver through repetition are far stronger and far, far better public speakers. Engaging audiences is an art. And how do you do that? One, by being honest. Second, by utilizing the natural tool that all of us possess, we call it the body. So enhance your body language. And very important, words don't mean anything to anybody unless you add tone to the words. So out there, the people who are trying to do some public speaking, ensure that you engage some tonality to your words. You mean what you say and say what you mean. Ensure that you speak honestly and truthfully and there is nothing to fear because language is the last thing that should come to your mind. Grammar is the last thing that should come to your mind. It is only what I feel that the other person will start feeling and for that there is only one P which I will leave all of you with. Learn to prepare, learn to plan and learn most importantly to practice.